great day, great day, great day, family, what's going on? I'm trying to send out the text right now. Um, my computer had to reboot this morning. You know, the updates and all that shit. My music still ain't up. Still waiting for my music to come up. But I want to say great Ujima to each and every last one of y'all. Brother Shaka's in the house. Somebody else in the house. Running just a little bit behind. Waiting for my my speaker station to come up so that I could go on and get my proper sound effect. Cleaning my glass. We got three people up. Some of y'all don't even need the text in the morning, all right? You can save my money. Nah, nah, nah. We got to stay in touch. I'm waiting for the speaker piece to come up so that we can do our title track. This is our title track. Going platinum. You know what I'm saying? I want to say great, once again, great Ujima to each and every last one of you. We're going to talk about what we got going on for the show tonight. Um, uh, we'll post, a, uh, uh, post that flyer up. Um, you just mentioned Naka. You know what I'm saying? So, um, no, oh, here we go. Thank you, Anubis, for all of the the the, the morning wake up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I'm usually late and smiling and shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm usually late. Yeah, okay. I'm trying, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, well, got in and everything. Um, everything is beautiful. You know, we got a few things we need to talk about. And then, you know, we need to make sure we get our toast popping off. Um, hopefully, the text will be going out, and I'll be getting a text soon, and a few more people will be joining us. Uh, so, <sighs> without any further ado, I need to let you know you are now listening to Giami Journey Media. <laughs> at least my phoenix is up. This is a heart of a civil production. Of course, you know this is the Daily Toast. <laughs> a great Ujima for you, and since we're using the term Ujima, you know that we always strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigms. Oh, my explosion is just... <laughs> Drink your water. Move your body, drink. 
from water. Lift your glass and toast your ancestors. Shouts out to Brother Anubis, shouts out to Sister Shelly, I, and I know some more out there, come on now, lift your glass and drink your water, lift your glass and drink your water, lift your glass and drink your water. time to rise up as we get this list of ancestors ready so that we can get this toast popping off. Um, before we get into that, um, uh, I want to mention Naka. Um, Shaka is going to post up a flyer for all of those that are interested in purchasing homes. You know what I'm saying? Feel free to look into this program because this program will help you move to that level of home ownership. Now, I am planning on going on to the next training that is here in Columbus. You know what I'm saying? I would love to be involved with a group because, you know, there might be a property that we might be able to look at uh, getting and getting the money to renovate so that we can go on and, and make some master moves in Columbus. You know what I'm saying? Because it's all about, it's all about those cooperative economics, learning to use all of our resources. Every last one of them. You know what I'm saying? Because if we don't, what we... If we don't use them, other people will come in our community and use them. And other people within our community will use them. But nobody can guide your resources to better serve you, in most cases, than you. Nobody can serve your people with their resources better than you. Rather than having other people come in from the outside. You know when other people come in from the outside and use your resources in the way that they want to use it. You know what that's called? It's called pimping. Pimping, pimping, pimping. Alright? So, hey, we don't want we don't want nobody pimping our resources, family. It's been going on a long time. And it's not a very comfortable position to be in. So we need to go on and build. And we need to work. And, and, and do the things that we need to do. So today is Ujima. For those who don't know, Ujima, Ujima means collective work and responsibility. My fault. Look at that. Ujima, Ujima means cooperative economics. Excuse me. Um, the meiotic principle today is reciprocity. Um, the M7 that we teach the kids because uh, cooperative economics might be too long, but the term that we use for the children is gratitude, which I think we spoke about, um, I spoke about a little bit in the, the story that we covered earlier this week about gratitude, you know, um, by us practicing gratitude, you know what I'm saying, gratitude means being able to look around and, and appreciate where we are and what we have at this present time. You know what I'm saying? Because I, you know, I know sometimes some of the numbers that I throw out 
could be a little bit disconcerting. You know what I'm saying? I don't want um I don't want I don't want people to feel that I'm trying to be like that. What I'm trying to do is present facts. Um or at least the facts that are presented to me. Because you know, I, I I don't trust statistics either. So I still use them. You know what I'm saying? I still use the numbers and um especially when I can sit down and I get a basic understanding of the numbers myself. Um, but we have an enormous mountain that we have to climb. But like I said, every long journey, every long climb starts with movement. It starts with us pulling ourselves together and beginning to move towards our goal. Now what we have to have is we got to have a collective goal. And now let me make sure people understand. When I talk about a collective goal, I'm not talking about all of us talking about necessarily the same thing. You know what I'm saying? If we're looking at our problem as a mountain, there are many different angles that we all can hit to climb this mountain. But we have to agree on at least what mountain we want to climb. You know what I'm saying? We have to agree what mountain we have to climb. You know? Um, so we need to learn to be grateful for what we have and use what we have to get to where we want to, where we want to get. So we do have some extra resources that we can use to start building. You know what I'm saying? We do. You know what I'm saying? We do. You know what I'm saying? And one of the major things that we have that a lot of us don't use properly, right? Check this out. I was having a class with, my, with, with, with some of the warriors on uh, Moja. Well, yesterday we talked about something different. Cleve over there working on Hopefully you're working on that Python. I hope I have to get up out this chair. But we started, I, I started with an open question. I said, you know, um, what is a nation? What is a nation? You know, so uh, um, Brother Kwame said, I always refer to those who are interested to a small book called How to Lie with Statistics. Very informative little book on understanding the, the, the statistics we come across. In our readings, um, uh, the, what is the dude that wrote Huckleberry Finn? He has a very famous quote. He says there are three types of lies. There's the basic lie. There's a goddamn lie, and there's statistics. And you know, in our discussions, you know, what I'm saying we got to keep that um, up front because a lot of times um, um, statistics can be morphed and shaped. To fit the image of what the individual who is doing the research um, wants. You know what I'm saying? Because really when you think about it, you go to school to learn to manipulate your resources. You go to school to learn how to use the resources for what you want. So um, when you go into a study, in most cases people say you're supposed to be objective. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of that research for a lot of these individuals become very subjective. What is the and 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 I kind of agree with the subjectivity. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like it's like hip hop. You know what I'm saying? For me, right? You can't understand hip hop if you are not involved with hip hop. If you're not doing hip hop, hip hop is something that you do. You know what I'm saying? Our culture is something that you do. So you're going to be subjective. So you're going to take some stuff personal, and I love that. But one of the things that Brother Wakesa brought to the community, at least to us in our discussions, and around that front man talk about this too, is learning to guide those emotions, which is a resource, which is a resource, all right? That's, that's, I just want to be clear with y'all. Emotions are a resource that we are either overlooking or not using properly. We're not using emotions to guide us to what we want. We're using emotions well, actually, our emotions are using us. So when we start learning to do and ask the questions, as Brother Kwame often do in our meetings, when Brother Hatim is getting heated and other people are getting heated, he's, you know, I don't know how he'd be hitting that goddamn table so goddamn hard. But he hit the table, and he starts using the emotions as a, um, as a GPS system to get us where we want to go because usually when people are arguing they're trying to get somewhere we're trying to get somewhere 
we're just not in agreement about where we're going. So what we do is we descend into using the emotion or the emotions we, we descend and the emotions start using us. And rather than creating a solution, they create more problems. Uh, Mark Twain wrote, it was Mark Twain who said it. Um, so, uh, you know, so we need to learn to use those resources. But anyway, I was having a conversation with my young people and I built them up from what is, you know, what is the nature? Boom, boom, boom. We worked through it. We talked about it. And, you know, of course, you know, I finally got to the definition that a little throughout the nation is a stable, historically developed community of people with territory, economic life, distinctive culture and language in common. You know what I'm saying? I said, cool. So now let's break it down. Let's break it down. I said, a person is a miniature nation. A person is a cell within a nation. And within a cell, there is the overall makeup for whatever it's a cell of. Right? So, in a sense, an individual is a stably, historically developed being with territory, economic life, distinctive cultural language in common. What is the territory of you being a person? What is the territory? They say our bodies. Our bodies is our first territory, family. Now, what does the territory produce? The territory produces, from the territory, we are able to produce economic life. See, we don't, see, we got it kind of, we, we get it messed up. We think getting a house is just about getting a, getting a house. We think getting a car is just about getting a car. And that, you know, it's the end in itself. No, that becomes your territory. And as a nation, we have to start looking at territory in the sense of how do we develop an economic life from that. It in, in the definition of a nation, it ain't said a happy life. It didn't say a joyous life. It didn't say a survival life. It didn't say a, a ball in life. It said an economic life. Because an individual a family, a tribe, a community can't exist without an economic life. And where does that economic life come from? Territory. When you look at people all over the world, all the people are trying to use their territory. And what do colonizers or conquerors do? They come in and they take the territory and they extract the economic life up out of it. Right now, when you look at the, in the so-called communities that we live in, someone or something is extracting the economic life up out of it. And because we don't have control of our economic life, because we are not striving or have a proper understanding to learn how to extract from our economic life, other people do. So taking it away from a nation, because we're not a nation, we just use the term nation and nation building right now, to kind of prep the mind. But the first aspect we have to become is we have to become a stable, historically developed being. And then my stably, historically developed being will come together with your stably, historically developed being and we'll create a family. And then our family will come together with a, another group of family and we will create a tribe. But we all have to be using our resource. And what's the first, what's the first territory? The first territory is our bodies. Are we extracting or are we creating an economic life from our bodies? And are we getting the full benefit of that economic life that is being produced by our bodies? See, we want to control, we want to control South London. We want to control the north side. But we're not striving for the first thing. Our ancestors taught us at the very beginning, when you enter the mystery system, they talk about know thyself. And this is what we got to get out of, family. We got to get out of our heads and just knowing ourselves. We got to start feeling our bodies and start learning to use our territory so that we can start developing that economic life. Know my talents. Are your, are, are, are your talents are produced within your body. They, they come out of your body. And are you getting the full benefits of that territory that you're creating? Are you able to extract the economic life? Are you leaving and building a legacy for your children? These are the things that we have to wrestle with. It's not deep. 
It's not complicated. We got to understand it. Look, building a nation is not hard. It's not. You know what I'm saying? You know, they, people want to make it look hard. Why? Because when you make it look hard, you chase away those that are really not passionate about it. But when you break it down, man, running, running a nation is running a family. Running a nation is running a tribe. Running a nation is about learning to run yourself rather than having others run you or in our case having others chase you you know what I'm saying becoming becoming predator rather than prey all right so tonight we're going to uh we got our meeting tonight for those nation builders uh because we got to we, we got to get to work on this Malcolm Act on this Malcolm X festival all right Listen, family, it's come together. We're meeting tonight. I will be sending out the uh, I'll be sending out the text messages to those that are supposed to be showing up at that meeting. We're gonna talk about mainly Malcolm X. Then we're gonna look into the initiation process, right? Um, and then we're moving to day twenty, and we're gonna if I make it back in time tonight. We're going to talk about day 20 from Giami Journey Workbook, Tribal Quotes. For those that want to support the journey, you go to giamijourney.com. Go to our website. Look up in the top tabs. You can click this book, get this book so that you can follow along with us. Or if you just want the book, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Hit Brother Hot Tim up. I got it in a PDF. You know why? Because I compiled it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Part of my legacy. You know what I'm saying? I'll be late. I tutor. I we we know that Kwame. I thought you was gonna call in, but I think you want to be there so that you can slap the desk. And I, you just you you not slick and shit. I already know. I'm telling y'all, Kwame hit the goddamn desk. Motherfuckers be jumping and sound like gunfire up and I be like, damn. There you go. Here here you go. And you know he slap it real hard when his hair ain't done. When he ain't got his hair done, he be he be hitting that goddamn desk real hard. You know what I'm saying? All right, so day 20, so that so that my daily toasters can be up. Um, the first quote is from Frederick Douglass. Oh my God! Oh my God! Power can seize nothing without a demand. It never did, and it never will. Um, go and check it out. But then let me know. Like I said, if you ain't got it. You know what I'm saying? My daily toasters, this will be my gift to you so I can send you a PDF. Um, power can seize nothing without demand. It never did. It never will. Frederick Douglass. And this one is Honoré del Balzac. It is easy to sit up and take notice. What is difficult is getting up and take, take damn. Thunder is acting up. Let me. Honore de Balzac. It is easy to sit up and take notice. What is difficult is getting up and taking action. Damn, it's going to be a good conversation tonight. Oh, here we go with this one. This is one. This one right here. Check this one out. Invite people into your parlor and they will come into your bedroom. Sierra Leone. That's from Sierra Leone. Let me say that one again. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, this, this is going to be a hot night. Every now and then, this is going to be a life changer if we're able to do this bug tonight. Invite people into your parlor and they will come into your bedroom. Be careful on the. I gotta hold it to the night. But y'all got a head start. Family, this is going to be a life changing discussion. Make sure you like and share because I'm trying to tell y'all, family. I'm. Ooh. 
Listen, I feel the I feel the heat rising up in me. Oh, I gotta put it down. I gotta put it down. All right, so um, today the color is green. The Hermetic Laws Polarity. Uh, male name for the day is Yao. Female name is Ja. From the emotional masturbation circles, African centered cultural virtue and value system. Day four. Today in Wolof, your mind, a compassion for those less fortunate than yourself. A kind ethics, patience. Traditional Yoruba, emoji mora, sensitivity. Now, family, I keep on stressing that when we start talking, when we talk about these principles, these principles start with you, work their way out into your family, and then work their way out into the rest of the world with your tribe, and, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? A lot of times what I notice about our principles, we want to practice our principles. And I know this is going to sound messed up. But let me be, let me, let me be, give you my serious look. We need to practice our principles at home and with each other first before we start extending that shit to everybody else. I'm just being, I'm being honest. Uh, and you know what I'm saying? Because I don't think nobody else is teaching us this. You understand what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because us extending our principles and extending a lot of this stuff to everybody prior to us mastering it at home is causing our community all types of problems. You know what I'm saying? Problems. Where people are taking advantage of because of your honest man. You're a good woman. You're very kind and loving. And I'm going to have to let you go. And I'm going to have to give the contract to, to Jonathan. You know what I'm saying, family? You better start. We, we have to first master this stuff with us. And I know that's going to be kind of difficult for some of y'all to grasp. You know what I'm saying? Because many of us, many of us are dealing with, 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 with this concept. Uh, this Raven Simone syndrome, right? Well, we forgetting, you know what I'm saying? We're black. We're not dark white. You see, Raven Simone made a comment on her Twitter, and I, that shit, I've been running with that shit ever since. She's not black. She's dark white. Many of us don't know it, but many of us are dark white. We just don't know it, right? And a lot of our kids, we're raising our kids as dark white because they have they they are not stable or historically developed and I want you to understand the term integrity see now I, I'm gonna let the math teacher on the thing go and write what integrity means and Kwame just in case you ain't catching what angle I'm coming from I want you to post up to everybody what a integer is or an integer. What is an integer, Kwame? Because integer is the key, is the root word of integrity. We go with all these long ass definitions, but I want y'all to just look at the word integer or integer when we're talking about integrity. Kwame, what is an integer or inter in integer? Or, or or even I'm um, the unsleeping one. You on that type of shit. Go and do that again. Read or oh, read that again. What you want me to read again? Um, Kwame requested that I read again. Frederick Douglass, power concedes nothing without a demand. It never did and it never will. Thunderclap. <laughs> Second one, it is easy to sit up and take notice. What is difficult is getting up and taking action. Honoré de Balzac, thunderclap. <laughs> Lastly, invite people into your parlor and they will come into your bedroom. Thunderclap. So I'm going to finish my water before we start these libations. And um, I'm going to let Kwame go and define what an integer is or an integer for you. An integer. It's integer. 
Okay. Um, all right, we're going to check, check out the pick for the second proverb. All right, you know I'm taking, I'm just warming up the stage for the ancestors because we're about to do this toast. Still waiting for that term integer. I know he said he, listen, don't, don't get too deep on us, brother. Mercy, I'm done. Hold on. The ceremonial toss. We crushed that water. Defeated that bottle. An integer is the set of numbers, units, that encompass the counting numbers. The zero and the negative of the counting is the pronunciation with a soft G integer see more a whole number a number that is not a fraction a thing complete within itself so when we talk about integrity right now listen to what Kwame said integer is the set of numbers units that encompass the counting numbers Zero and the negative of the counting. Right? We talk about integers. We're talking about whole numbers. So when we talk about integrity, we're talking about dealing with the world as a whole being. Not very complicated. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people that speak about integrity are not really coming at you integrity. You know what I'm saying? They're coming at you as a fraction. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, you know, you, you know, you know, that'd be a private little insult that we have for folks. Oh, man, I, you know, I, I use a fraction. All right. You know what I'm saying? So when we talk about integrity, right, and really, really, really looking at that word integrity, you know what I'm saying? It's about being a whole person, being a stable, historically developed being. A nation is a stable, historically developed community of people. A person is a historically developed, a stable, historically developed being. Whole. Right? So family, I mean, and and, and, and what start, they come at you as a rat. <laughs> I mean, really. And this is how we've been taught to operate. Because it's only with whole numbers. It's only with wholeness. That we are able to extract the value out of ourselves and out of our environment. And I know some of y'all gonna come back, well, how, how, how is the other people able to do it? Because they're coming at you as a stable, historically developed being. Just because you're a whole number doesn't mean that you're a right number. Doesn't mean that you're a righteous number. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Wholeness does not mean that you are a righteous being. Wholeness does not. And then on top of that, we have to really be clear, right? A lot of people are operating for their self-interest and their group interest. We have to start, you know what I'm saying? Who's looking out for us? Family, like for example, let's say the statistics is right. And all the numbers are right. And uh, and our community uh, descends it because this is a prophecy that I'm considering a prophecy that Claude Anderson made over 20 years ago. He said, if black folks don't pull it together right now, this is 20 years ago. Right now, we are going to be a permanent underclass. When, when this stuff start happening, where do you think those that don't have are going to go? So as a community, we got to be whole and we got to be honest with ourselves. Are we prepared? 
Are we prepared? See, because I'm going to tell you what, what's, what's going to happen when there's a shortage in our community. Those that are organized are going to be able to keep and to get more. Those who are not. So, family, we have to move beyond just being an intellectual movement. You know what I'm saying? Because I go to the Afrocentric set, right? We are intellectual and we talking and we reading books and shit. You know, if I was to go to the Nation of Islam, you know what I'm saying? They, they reading books, but they drilling. They flipping each other. They learning wrist locks. You know what I'm saying? They learning security. They, you know what I'm saying? I mean, because, I mean, really, family, when, when we think about it, you know what I'm saying? Because we may be coming to a time where we're going to have to deal with others and 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 everybody ain't coming like I told you man niggas and niggas and kick their cloth were very dangerous I done dealt with it I done ran into them I done ran into them and when you're not ready when you're not prepared let me tell you dog let me tell you it's listen those of you that be getting mad because brother hot Tim hang and be with some of the people that I be with right because I have learned that every now and then, right, every now and then, I need my sons. For those that's been around me long enough, you, you know what I'm saying? I need my sons. You understand what I'm saying? Because my sons, right, I'll be diplomatic. My Some of my sons and some of my brothers, I'll be diplomatic. And I will try to work, work it out with you. But when it comes down to it, every now and then, we all need those crazy cousins. Y'all got them in y'all family where everybody is neglecting that cousin all the way into some shit jump off. Then they be like, call Pookie. Fuck this, call Pookie. Because this shit about to go down. And Pookie come and make it right. And then disappear again. Then he's he's the black sheep of the family. But when, when, when the shit hits the fan, everybody trying to call Pookie. I've been the one that always embraced, I, I always embrace Pookie. I've always been cool with Pookie. Because Pookie, Pookie will drive all night, get to you, do what needs to be done, and be gone. And won't ask you for shit. We need to take care of those Pookies, family. We need to, you know what I'm saying? We, I'm trying to tell you. And in our community, in, in, and I'm not talking about, see, because oftentimes we need to, and, and maybe, maybe, like I said, that gets back to that initiation and then boundaries. We need to define our community. We need to be clear about it. You know what I'm saying? Because when the shit hit the fan, I, we need to have a head count. I'm very serious. I'm very serious, family. When the shit hits the fan, brother Hot Tim, I'm listen. I'm taking a head count. I'm looking at ledgers. I'm looking at who's been doing the work. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just in case, right? Because we need to know who. Exactly, like Miles for Easy Rollins. Miles came to town and motherfuckers started shaking. She said, um, uh, 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 <laughs> Sister Shelly I says, hey, I cook for Pookie. You know what I'm saying? Pookie come to town and you know what I'm saying? You know, and you know, it's like, yo, you need to keep those Pookies. You know what I'm saying? People be mad at me, you know, people be mad. And I be like, yo, shit, I be arguing for Pookie because... You know what I'm saying? I understand. I Shit, I live with Pookie. You know what I'm saying? And I understand, dude. All right, boom. Pookie, Pookie just don't fit. Pookie just don't fit. And what that is is that's that warrior class, family. That's that warrior class. Because they don't, you know what I'm saying? They, you, they don't fit. They don't adjust. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get out and get it. And, 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 and you could talk to them and and you can, you know, you can get, and, but now let me tell you, those type of organizations that are collecting those cookies are going to roll up on you and take your shit. If it hits the fan. So I'm saying, hey, I'm slowly but surely gathering the pookies. Just being honest. So, uh-oh. A CeeLo must be in the house because she up. So family, without any further ado, we lift up our glass to the Creator whatever by whatever name you choose to call it Creator. We lift up the glass and we salute that Creator. 
Like I said, once again, by whatever name you choose to call it, Creator. And we say, Hashe, from there, family, we move without any further ado to the stars of the show. We call on our personal ancestors. Miles Brown, Miss Ann, Robin the Tech, Sutter Davis, Herman Brown Sr., Rosalie Tilly, George and William Walter, Chris and Fanny Gaston, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, Aunt Fiend, Cleveland and Geneva, Brown, Margaret Ellis, Wash Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Alvaro Brown, Gina Gaines, Herman Brown II, Barbara Twiggs, Wash Ellis Jr., Katie Ellis, Nikki Ellis, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Tappan, John Fillard, Montague Pitt, Manel, Normal X, Pat Mara, Rob Malika Fakur, Dr. Marianne Williams, Kojo Kamal, Elder Farmer, Ellen Miller Dixon, Tony Clark, Pastor Yusuf Weston, Elder Ogeny, Elder Ron Coleman, Elder Robert Donaldson, Alfred Brofro, Hector Jr., Jay Edwards, Carlon Harris, Grace Lundy, Inez Harris, William Bill Moss, Phyllis Rose, Sterling and Lucy Wright, Derek L. Pulley, and the Luxor Brothers, Miss Ella Brooks Crawley, Miss Marie Nelson, Mr. Frederick Crawley Sr., Miss Jerry Brunson, Mr. Lonzo Johnson, Miss Marie McDowell, Janice Foster, Charles Jordan, Carol Smith, Walter Smith, Richard Triggs, Francis Johnson, Mary Franklin, Jimmy Williams, Daniel Ford, George Gibson, Nana Loretta Clark, Inez McCray, Fritz Clark, Frankie Justice, Katie Justice, Derek Randleman, Virginia Rogers, Reverend Jane Smith, Lois Henderson, Calvin Spratling, Mary Elizabeth Walker, Raymond Walker Sr., Sarah J. Carter, Michael Ford Jr., Kellen D. Russell, Susie B. Smith, Teresa Clay, Melvin Dale Hodge, Melvin Dale Hodge Jr., Herman Copeland, Mildred Copeland, Jenny Clay, Bird Beatty, Sarah Well, Abita Farmer, Argo Sassou, Cheryl Harvey, Aunt Charmaine, Aunt Evelyn, Theolis Hasbury, Harvey Hasbury Sr., Leonard Dickinson, T.C. Islam, Terrell Dunbar, Will Thomas, Sarah Berry, Mark Walsh, Merle B. Thornton, Pearl G. Thornton, Ida Johnson, Florence M. Carter, Joanne Thornton, Eric, Patricia Lewis, Juanita Wright, Robert Wright, George Wright, Mary Lee, Mary Eliza, Frederick Davis, Mary Elizabeth Rogers, Mary Esther Keecher Larice, Linda Watson Hammonds, Jarrell Giles Watson, Sparrow, Slimmy, Selvin Lewis, Andrew Holmes, Pearl Moore, Percy Moore Jr., Major Owens, Booker T. Bolden, Charlie Hunt, Sammy Stover, Hilda Pearson, Sturgeon Thornton, Richard Thornton, Lavinia Hall, Freeman Bankster, Mary Moss, Figa Peacock, Willie Thornton, Napoleon Kidney, Mark Ramsey, Paul Ramsey, Matt Ramsey, David Ramsey, Charles E. Thornton, Frankie Quells, Urania Thornton, Bernice Quells, Ernestine Jackson, Frankie Johnson, Teresa Mormon, Leon Johnson, Charles Bell, Vivian Ramsey, S.C. Johnson, Dorita Johnson, Leon Johnson, James W. S. Sr., James Parham, Dana Jones, Henry Worlds, James Farmer, Mary Chavez, Leon Grace, Bessie Johnson, Hattie Levester, Mary Moreland, Paul Moreland, Elder Caleb, Rosemary Martinier, Elder Amatet Wellman, Fred Douglas Triggs Sr., Delma Triggs, Thomas and Lula Berry, Luke Lacey and Elder Ohio, Frank and Russell and Davis, Fred Douglas Triggs II, Vina Triggs, Reverend Eddie Moore, Helen Fuller, Eugene Jackson Sr., Richard Ellis, Silas Alexander, Charles Maxwell, Percy May Alexander, Arthur Reynolds, Stanley Lockhart, Ricky Lockhart, William Lockhart, Woodrow Lockhart, Brenda Porter, Deacon Hargrove, Carla Sawyer, Andrew Parker, Doris Donald, Ellis Murphy, Brother Renee, salutes Joe Davis, um, um, Brother um, Allende, and Sister Jill, salute, salute Timothy Butler. They added that to their list. Uh, Brother Nubis, salutes Gene Holmes, Dana Jones, Peter Charles, Christy Nichols, Cardinal Robinson, Rosemary Charles, Sister Tiandra, salutes Ada Pearl, Bob Ingalls, Jack Wallace, Warren P. Finch, Tim Ingalls, Audrey Finch, William Billingsley Jr., Brother Deshaun, salutes his mother, Jennifer Sensenball. I added to my list Hazel Gatson, Jay Bradley, Brian Watson Jr., Kaniko Parsons, Sister Aisha, Salute Stacey Trice, Frank Smith, Mother Bertha, Michael Leonard, David Brown, Miss Ford, Salute Ruth Carter, June Cox, Ruth and Paul Cox, Ronald Irving, Judy Hubbard, Irene Johnson, Francis Boots Jefferson, Dr. D, Salutes Dan Wilkinson Sr., Sister Jackie, Salutes Emma McClendon, which she added to her list. We added Jerry Doyle. Amina Robinson, Patricia Williams, and Shabaka Ture to the community list. Sister Madonna salutes Donna Hill and Richard Gleavis. Her mother and father, Sister Cynthia, salutes Lee Irby, Tommy Irby, Boyd Irby, Jim Gauthier, George Andy Johnson, Archie, and Margaret Armstead. Sister CeeLo salutes Archie Beck, Anna McGill. Brother Santana salutes Aunt, Aunt Becca. Elder Greg Arnold salutes Alice Arnold, Arthur Arnold, Hattie Reed, Charles Reed. Sister Shelley I salutes Eula and, uh, and Andrew Baker, Patricia and Edwin Brooks, Gwendolyn and Bob Hatch, Kimball Vernon, Bradley Kim, Janie Harriet Tubman Cates, Spencer Sturgis, Sally Mae Baker, Ethel Baker, Creola Baker, Geneva Baker, Aaron, Nino, Baby Hatch, Hatch Sr., Mally Miller, Housie Hatch, Dad Cleveland, and Mother Gibson. We got Brother Quabana, Salutes Alex Nixon, 
Elder Bowie salutes John Bowie. Elder Cedric salutes Lester and Rachel Sanders. Janelle Ross salutes Doretha Ross, Riola Ross, Robert Nelson, Francis Stevenson, Leroy Stokes. Elder Ori Pianchi salutes Neely Johnson, Fletcher Swan, Maddie and Charlie Scott. Um, Charlie Stevenson uh, um, salutes Vivian Stevenson. Um, Cassandra Holloway salutes Mona Ann. Elder Phyllis salutes Martha Ford Dawson, Big Mama, Nanny Harris, Eva Ford, and James Hairston. Um, Sister Inya salutes Margaret Towns and Mary Williams. Sister Heather salutes Leroy Q. Heath Sr. Patar Capshaw Moore salutes Albert Moore. Yeye Motley salutes Miss Vanilla, Albus Motley, Geraldine Elizabeth, Douglas Thompson, and Erlington Houston. Uh, Pharaoh told me that he wanted to watch the series on Hulu when black people took slaves. So I put it on last night. Uh, I B S U not. It's called The Book of Negroes. It's about George Washington and it's the book of Negroes about George Washington and slaves. I have, I have been up all night. These indigos. We need to listen to the star seeds. It's called The Book of Negro and it's on Hulu. Um well, like I said, bring a report tonight to the show so that we can talk about that. You know what I'm saying? I might have to, I might have to find a way to get Hulu. So we lift up our glass to those ancestors and we say, "Ah, Shay." Now I wonder how many Pookies was on that list. I know at least I had at least three on mine. My my fault. Four. Five. Had five pookies on that list. Pookie will sit it down or lay it down. You understand what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Family, hey, listen. Listen, right? Now, in our community, who getting all the pookies right now? Not, not our collective. If you want to know where they're going, I can tell you where they're going. A lot of them, right? So, we lift up our glass, family. We toast the moment. I won't go into that because, you know, we over time. Shouts out to Sister Heather. Thank you for joining us. Um, we salute the moment. Right now is where our power lies. And we lift up our, our, our glass and we say our shade. From their family, we toast our children, our children's children. We toast the future. We toast them now so that they will have the insight to toast us and thank us for the legacy that we will leave. And I'm not saying might leave, I'm saying we'll leave, family, because we have no choice. Because if we don't blaze the trail, there might not be nothing left. And we got every generation, gotta, we got to think like this. If we don't do it, who going to do it? If we don't take over the world, who going to do it? All right? So we salute our future and we say, I say from there, we salute all our relations and we say, I say from there, I salute the most important thing that's popping off right now, and that's you. And I salute each and every last one of you take this drink for you, our toast, we salute our ancestors, and we say, Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Family, I wish you peace, power, and joy in 100 years, and a brother, I tip is running a little bit behind, but it's cool, you know what I'm saying? Brother Nuba says, I am kind of over storylines such as that show, when I watched that I was turned off by much of it, the only enjoyable part for me, at least, was when a few of the black people fought back. And Sister Shelly I says, I say. You know what I'm saying? Um, there was a, a, a post that I put up by a dude named Crank Lucas. <laughs> For those that not, that's not hip to Crank Lucas, Crank Lucas is a, is a YouTube personality. He, he has over 100,000 followers, and he's a music producer. But he produces music, he sells his music, so if you into the, you know what I'm saying? But... He does some incredible uh, skits and storylines. So he did a storyline where he called it a, a angry, a, a angry conscious man uh, critiques Black Panther, right? And 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 
you know, you can see it from both ends because the, the angry dude is like, I don't like Black Panther. It wasn't shit, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? And Crank Lucas, Crank Lucas is both characters. But if you get an opportunity, check it out because it kind of covers that whole piece because he asked the question, how many more movies or how many more shows are we going to be watching or are we going to be satisfied with that portray us simply as slaves? And, and that is part of of the history you know what i'm saying but we need to bring it in context because you know I, you know what i'm saying you know this is you know how many are we gonna allow other people to produce we need to produce our own you know what i'm saying because one of the things that that i'm really interested in is is how they kept those communities outside of brutality that was surrounding them what were some of the things that they was using to keep that community united so hey we, I'm toasting, I'm sipping on my health drink. Uh, the stories lay the foundation for preventative measures that are preventative so that we can fight back and win. All right. But, I mean, there's not a lot, I don't think there's a lot of stories out there with the preventative piece in it. Um, you know, I'm, and I could be wrong. It's not for us at this point. I can dig it. But, ooh. Dry, though. Dry. It leaves my mouth dry. So I'm going to, I'm going to have to isolate this scoby. Or maybe put another scoby in with it and see if, because you know, I might, I may be able to be able to start posting dry on some of my ambrosia because this. All right, family. But, hey, I want to thank everybody who took the time to come out. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, family, get a Spreaker station. Get a Spreaker station. Also, this this Kaumba at 8 a.m., we will be gathering for Warrior Train. Now, I'm just saying, we don't usually do it at 8 a.m., but um, Royalty decided that we needed to do it at 8 a.m. I don't know why. I know we're doing a hike and we, you know what I'm saying? But we're going to be able to ask the questions about the Giami journey process. You know what I'm saying? The warrior, we're starting our warrior training, our bi-weekly warrior training meetings again. So, for all those in Columbus that want to come out, by all means, come on and join us. It's not just for young people. Because we need older people to start setting an example. You know what I'm saying? So, family... We're going to be learning the drill moves. We're going to be learning the basics of, 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 of the system that we use in Giambe to start producing. And we're starting to get ready for these camping trips because i got to start getting the people ready so that, for example, when we go out to camp, we're going to need warriors and nation builders that are able to guide the youth. We're going to need warriors and nation builders that are able to um, to, to, to organize the youth and work directly with the youth. You know what I'm saying? To, so that we can break them down into groups so that we, so that what we are doing is a little bit more effective because everybody, we, we don't got one giant tent. We got separate tents. So we need to make sure that we have warriors and nation builders that are responsible and that have or at least started the training. All right? I agree. We need our own. I load the victimhood mentality. <laughs> Poor me. Why me? That one? Is that what you're talking about, Newman? Why me? That's why I love. I love Spook Who Sat by the Door. That's why I love that movie, man. You understand what I'm saying? I love movies like that. You know what I'm saying? Sankofa. I, I'm so mad that I forgot to put that on the list. Saying, like movies like Sankofa. You know what I'm saying? Where it ends in fire. You know what I'm saying? Because really, family, we got to understand. This is the way our enemy plays. If I can't have it, can't nobody have it. Y'all all ran into kids like that when you was little. Right? If I can't play with the blocks, can't nobody play with the blocks. You know what I'm saying? You don't even want to play with him no more. I'm not playing with him. Nah, nah. You know what I'm saying? But this is the way all other people do it. They have done it like that forever. If I can't have it, think about Rome. When Rome rolled in, 
And they finally, um, and they finally, they finally beat Carthage. They went and shit, if we can't have it, can't know. You know what I'm saying? They fucked Carthage up when they fought. After Hannibal rolled through there and whooped their ass for that, you know what I'm saying? They was able to, to corner the motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Because, because of weakness. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, we had motherfuckers, try, you know, trying to cut deals and shit. Right? But once they got in there, man, they salted the earth. I need y'all to understand that shit. We can't have this. We can't, can't nobody have this shit. Throw salt in the earth, you know what I'm saying? Dig that shit down and sell these motherfuckers off. This, 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 you know what I'm saying? If we can't have, we dealing with people that will blow up their own resources to keep others from controlling it. The, uh, a perfect show is the uh, expanse on sci-fi. The slaves there started fighting back right away. This is pretty good. I'm about to go, family. I still got to wash dishes. Got some clothes to iron. Uh, and and um, we got the adventure to start today. I have a challenging... I have a challenging um, quest that I must complete today. All right, family? You know what I'm saying? So, hey. And when, when we find shows like these, we need to, we need to be able to discuss them. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, 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 you know, I mean, because we all don't, like I said, in Giami family, we all don't agree. We all don't have to agree. We don't. We don't. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I would be kind of scared if we all agree. I really would. You know what I'm saying? Because, son, you know, there has to be, you know, shit. Because only from, see, and this is what, this is what people don't want. I catch, yeah, I catch you tonight, Kwame. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We got you and shit. You know what I'm saying? Growth comes out of conflict. You know what I'm saying? Growth comes out of it. It can sprout up. As a matter of fact, it motivates it. I'm not saying we got to always argue, but shit, I'm out. All right, Facebook. Peace. Oh, I need to remind you that you are now listening to Giami Journey Media. Anime, get it together. Good God Almighty. This is the Heart of a Simba production, and we have just done the Daily Toast. Like and share, family. Click, click, click the notification. You know what I'm saying? Follow me on Spreaker. Let's build this shit up. This is the Heart of a Simba production. Oh, you fell asleep, huh? Huh, a big ass lion. You just fell you, you, you fell asleep. Oh, oh you won't give me an action one. Well we strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigms. Thunder for real. Y'all about to be Y'all about to be Y'all about to my fault, that wasn't thunder, that was the explosion. I'm sorry, thunder, that must have been explosion. You're gonna need to find a new home. Alright, family, listen. We out? I'm done.